Hello everyone, I'm Anuj Nakade and you're watching Live Law. The Supreme Court has refused to entertain a public interest litigation for setting up of National Commission for Men today on the 3rd of July. This petition was filed by advocate Mahesh Kumari Tiwari and it sought directions to the Law Commission of India to carry out the research on the issue of suicides among married men and suggested the setting up of a National Commission for Men. The petition cited data published by the National Crime Records Bureau or the NCRB in its 2021 report stating that 33.2% men ended their lives because of family problems and 4.8% due to marriage related issues in 2021. The petition also states that of the total number of persons committing suicides, 72% were men and 27% were women with a total of 1,18,979 men committing suicide and 45,026 women committing suicide in 2021. The counsel for the petitioner said, and I quote, My prayer is that there is no provision or avenue where I can vent before taking such an extreme step. Upon hearing the petitioner, a two-judge bench of Justice Surya Kant and Justice Dipankar Datta told the petitioner, and I quote, if you expect us to hold that these husbands have committed suicide because of harassment by the wife, you are sadly mistaken. Justice Kant even went on to orally remark, and I quote, There is no question of misplaced sympathy for anyone. You want to project a one-sided picture, which we are not inclined to accept. The court also stated that male victims of domestic violence are not without any remedy under the Indian law. The exact words of the court were, in cases where somebody is actually harassed by the wife or it leads to committing suicide, whosoever are the victims of the crime, his family members can file a case. They can prosecute the person. The law takes care of this. There are adequate provisions for this. Justice Kant then went on to inquire of the petitioner of the data available on how many young women die within the first three years of marriage. His exact words were, and I quote, can you give us the data on how many young women in the country are dying within one, two or three years of marriage? The counsel for the petitioner then submitted that in Vishakha's case, the court had laid down guidelines which led to legislation, to which the bench responded that when the court finds that the issues are justiciable, the court will intervene. The court also asked the petitioner, is this a justiciable issue? Given the bench's disinterest in entertaining the matter, the petitioner then chose to withdraw the petition. We should also mention that the 2021 NCRB report also highlights that it recorded 4,28,278 cases of crime against women with cruelty by husband or relatives, assault, kidnapping and abduction along with rape being the most common crimes being committed. That's all we have for you in this video. If you found the video informative, please leave a like and let us know in the comments how we can shape our content to bring you your legal news in more engaging ways. We will also leave a link down in the description to the full report. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.